Market Analysis The Market Analysis section gives you the ability to quickly view trends in the data with the flexibility to choose your views, statistics, roll-ups, and styles. This section was designed to help you identify trends so that you can communicate those results to your end user. To review the options for the graphs, click into any graph you wish. An expanded view of the graph will be available with the options displayed. You have multiple options to customize the graphs in the format you like. The first section is Chart Selection. You can select the statistic you wish to look at. Right now it's on Median. You can change that to Minimums, Maximums, Average, etc. The View drop-down box gives you the option of what kind of graph you would like to look at. Currently, we have it on Spline, but you could select Columns, or any other graph option you would like. Next, we have the Roll-Up drop-down box. Currently, the data is displayed with Monthly. If you would like to look at Quarterly data, bi-monthly, etc. In display options, the default is weighted trend. You have the option to choose actual or unweighted if you choose. For the output, you can also include the trend line or take it out. Include the legend, which is prudent if you have two points of data. You can deselect including the regression equation if you don't want, or the rate of change. For example, if we exit out of the graph, you can see the regression equation is also populated. This may be confusing to you. If it is, simply deselect it, click Save, and it disappears. On the data selection, you can select the period. For example, if you would like to use all of the data, multiple years worth, you can select that. You can select one year, or you could do a more macro analysis and try to analyze just the last, let's say, quarter. If you exit out, you will see the annualized rate of just that quarter. This may be prudent to review to see if trends are stable, still subsiding, or increasing. In the data section, you can choose your submarket if you applied filters, which would be defaulted, or you could look at all of the records that you initially uploaded without any filters. When you are done configuring the graph output the way you want, simply click Save. An auto market rate calculator is included in the platform, and you can override the settings at any time should you choose. You can also establish what the market rate auto calculate is based on by going to your profile settings and editing them. To override the auto market rate, for example, maybe you want to consider multiple data points. Simply deselect the checkbox and enter the rate that you wish. For periods of stability leading up to your effective date, you have the ability to have unadjusted days on market. For example, if you wanted to go in the last quarter with no adjustment necessary, you would simply overtype that with 90 to specify 90 days. You can also design your layout to fit your needs. The buttons in the graphs will allow you to organize them in the layout you prefer. Also, 
You will have multiple reporting options available that you can communicate these to your end user at the end of the process. If there are certain graphs that are salient to you for review but you do not want to include to the end user in the report, simply deselect the checkbox next to Show in Report. That graph will now not display on your final report. If you would like to add a graph or chart, scroll down to the bottom portion of the page and use the drop-down box, Add a Chart. Review the options available and customize your layout. For example, I like to add sales price per square foot to livable area, which typically shows that smaller houses sell for more per square foot than larger properties. As appraisers, we know that this is helpful to show at times. After looking over all of the options, configuring your graphs in the situations you would like and your layout, if you would like to make that layout your default, scroll to the bottom and select Save as Default and click Save. All of your analyses going forward will have your charts in your layout until you save another layout as default. The 1004MC form. In the market analysis portion, you have the 1004MC form. This form is a default, but if you've removed it previously, scroll to the bottom to add a chart and select Form 1004MC Details. Here, you can review the data points, make your selections with the radio buttons, If you click into the comments, they are fully editable. If you wish to change the format of the text for all of your 1004 MCs going forward, click into the text, highlight the text, right click copy. You can then go to your edit profile and go to the remarks templates and paste the data in the proper field. Format the data any way you want and click Override Default Remarks and click Save. All 1004MC commentary going forward will match the format you entered. Now this analysis was performed on a single family home, so the condo section is not displayed. If you choose Condo on your Details page, the condo portion will be displayed. Also, for times where you are not doing something that requires the 1004MC, we have added a summary page that gives you a breakdown that you could communicate in your addendum. The 1004MC form for condo, no second upload required. Just like the 1004MC previously shown, select the radio buttons. Now come down to the condominium section. Select Choose and enter the name of your project. In the Subdivision Query tool, enter that area and select the names or names of your project. For example, in this case, there are actually two project names for the same project. Once you've selected your project, simply click Save and the information will be available. Continue the process as you normally would do. And click Save at the end of the process. 
Again, if you're doing a condo that's not requiring a 1004 MC, we still display the 12 month summary that you can communicate in your addendum. Additionally, you will have a report option at the end of the process where you can print out a copy of the 1004 MC in order to enter the information into your form, or you can copy and paste the text directly. Once you've completed your 1004 MC form, have all of your salient graphs in the layout and customize the way you prefer, simply click Save. You now can go to the basic statistics portion of the platform.